under today, Lord God, so that we can focus on you and receive what you have for us today. God, we ask it in your name and we'll give you the glory and we'll give you the praise for it, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Worship him this morning. Give him the praise he deserves. Hallelujah. He's kept you for another week. Amen. Amen. God's been good to you. He blessed you. He touched your body. Amen. He provided for you another time. Hallelujah. God's come through. God's heard your prayer. God answered your prayer. Amen. He's preserved you for another time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You're worthy, Lord Jesus. You're worthy, Lord God. We praise you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I give you thanks for all you've done. I am so blessed. My soul has found rest. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Would you just pray for somebody beside you today? Amen. Pray that God would work in their life. Hallelujah. Just pray, amen. Call their name out to the Lord right now. God, in this service, Lord, God, that they would hear from you. God, right now, in this service, Lord, they'd receive a touch. God, that their spirit would be touched today, Lord. God, we ask in your name, Lord Jesus. God, there's needy people among us today, Lord. God, oh God, we come into the house of the Lord, God, and we're needy, we're hungry, we're thirsty, Lord God. God, we know, Lord God, that you, Lord, have the word of eternal life. You have the touch that we need. God, you have the healing power that we need right now. And God, I know you're able to move for us, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother Ryan, come. Let's worship, all right? Amen. You can be seated if you need to be, but let's worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Are you happy to be in the house of God this morning? Amen. Praise God. Turn to page 116 in your red books. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm getting ready for the gates. 
lights of pearl I'm deep in my record right Watching both day and night I'm getting ready to leave this world I'm trusting in the riches of His saving grace In each earthly trial I His love can trace Sure that up in heaven I shall find a place To prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. If it were not true, I would have told you so. Oh, just a little while to linger here below. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm defending. I'm watching both day and night I'm getting ready to leave this world I'm trusting in the riches of His saving grace Oh, in each earthly trial I His love can trace I'm sure that up in heaven I shall find a place Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world Oh! Watching both day and night, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, think about it. To prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. And if it were not true, I would have told you so. Oh, just a little while to labor here below. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Yes, I'm getting ready. Oh. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Yes, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready. Have a God. Thank you, Lord. I'm keeping my record right. Watching both day and night. Oh, I'm getting ready. Oh, sing it one more time. Hallelujah. To prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. And if it were not true, I would have told you so. Oh, just a little while to linger here below. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Yes, I'm getting ready for the gates of growth. I'm keeping my record, but I'm watching both day and night. I'm getting ready. To leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready for the gates of I keep in my record right. Heavenly to God. Thank you. Oh, praise God. Oh, sing it one more time. Hallelujah. I'm laying up my treasure in that home above. I'm trusting, fully trusting in the Savior's love. I'm doing what I can, heaven's holy dove. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this. Yes, I'm getting ready. Oh, happily to God, praise Happily to God, happily. Thank you, Lord. Oh, happily. Oh, I'm watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, to prepare a mansion. Jesus said, I'll go. And if 
it were not true, I would have told you so. Oh, just a little while, linger here below. Yes, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm watching for day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm trusting, fully trusting in his saving grace. And then each earthly trial, I his love can trace. I am sure that in heaven I will find a place. So I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, of pearl. I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. Oh, I'm getting ready. Oh, hallelujah. I am laying up my treasures in that home above. I'm trusting, fully trusting in the Savior's love. Oh, doing what I can for heaven's holy dove. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right, watching both days. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, let's sing it again, worshiping. Oh, to prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. And if it were not true, I would have told you so. So just a little while, linger here below. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Yes, I'm getting ready. Oh, Lord, I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right. I'm watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this. Oh, I'm getting ready. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord, for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right. Watching both day and night. I'm getting And some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air. He's coming after you and me. Joy is our sister. And what rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise. Oh, heaven for that jubilee. Gather in the sky. And no one sing. And no one shouting. Oh, on the heavenly morning when we all shall rise. And no one glory. Oh, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed angel and us. And it seems that now I almost see all the sainted dead. They're rising for that jubilee that is just ahead. Oh, when the twinkling of an eye changes with them to be. Oh, all the living saints apply to that jubilee. And oh, Yeah. 
began to sing. Oh, singing in the Holy Ghost. How the heavens will ring. Oh, millions there will join that song. With them we shall be. Oh, praise and Christ to ages long. Heaven's jubilee. And oh, what sing. Oh, heavenly to God. Oh, praise God. Heavenly to God. Thank you, Lord. And let's get it together. When we meet our blessed Savior and us, and all oh, what singing, and all oh, what shouting on the happy morning, when we all shall rise, and all oh, what glory, oh hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior, oh hallelujah, it seems that now I almost see all the same of death. They're rising for that jubilee that is just ahead. Oh, in the twinkling of an eye, change with them to be. Oh, all the living saints to fly through that jubilee. And all oh, what sing, and all oh, what shouting. Oh, on that happy morning. Oh, heaven, heaven, heaven. Oh, my glory. Oh, hallelujah. When we meet our blessed Savior and us. Oh, some good morning we shall see Jesus in the air. He's coming after you and me. Joy is ours to share. Oh, what rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise. Oh, heaven for that jubilee. God are in the sky. And oh, my saints. Oh, my shouting on that happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, my glory. Oh, hallelujah, when we meet our blessed Savior in the And oh, what singing, and oh, what shouting on oh, that happy morning when we all shall rise. And oh, what glory, oh, hallelujah, when we meet our, oh, sing it again, hallelujah. And when with all that heavenly host we begin to sing, all singing again the Holy Ghost, how the heavens will ring, all millions there will join the song, with them we shall be, all praise of Christ who ages long, have as you believe, and all while singing, and all while shouting, oh hallelujah, glory to God, have and oh, what singing, and oh, what shouting on that happy morning when we all shall rise, and oh, what glory, oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Sing one more verse with the church. Hallelujah. Oh, some that morning we shall see Jesus in the air. He's coming after you and me. Joy is ours to share. And what rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise. Oh, heaven for that jubilee. Yonder in the sky. And oh, what sing. And oh, what shout. On Savior in the sky and oh what singing oh what shouting on that happy morning we all shall rise oh what glory hallelujah when we meet our blessed Savior in the sky oh thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord hallelujah hallelujah God praise you Lord Jesus thank you Lord he's coming again he's coming back hallelujah praise God praise God thank you Lord thank you Lord this world is not my home Amen. I'm only passing by hallelujah amen my treasures laid up amen somewhere beyond the sky hallelujah give him praise today give him praise today hallelujah we're leaving this world of trouble we're gonna leave this world of sorrow 
Amen. We're going to reside in the presence of the Almighty God. Amen. The sovereign God. Amen. Who reigns in the heavens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Praise God. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know there's a there's a restlessness in my spirit in this world amen I'm ready for the Lord to come hallelujah praise God I feel like you know what for the church amen we've been comfortable amen maybe God's stirring the nest a little bit amen get us uncomfortable in this world so we start looking for the coming of the Lord amen have a greater desire for his coming his return amen I want to get out of this world don't you hallelujah I'm ready amen even so Lord Jesus come quickly please Lord come quickly God we're ready today Lord Jesus hallelujah hallelujah praise God praise God thank you Jesus Woo, feel good this morning I feel good this morning hallelujah hallelujah praise God praise God you can be seated if you would like amen I appreciate you worshiping hallelujah man just what a wonderful presence of the Lord good powerful spirit of God hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus praise the Lord hallelujah brothers come receive the morning offering if you would amen praise the Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we love you, Lord. God, we thank you for the church. Thank you for the, your spirit that we feel today. Thank you, God, for the move of the Holy Ghost. I pray, God, oh God, that you move in this offering. Bless your people as they give to the work of the Lord. Bless them abundantly, Lord Jesus. We ask it in your name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Just go ahead, Sister Ruth. Play something if you would. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. strength and voice amen to praise God like we'd like to hallelujah amen praise God grab your Bibles if you would this morning I want to preach to you this morning and and uh, feel something on my heart today amen from the book of first Samuel from the book of first Samuel and we'll praise the Lord Good to see every one of you out, out today in the house of the Lord. Amen. We're going to be looking at the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16. And um, there's a lot of, lot of verses here that we're going to be looking at over between chapter 16 all the way through chapter 20. And if you want to leave your Bible open, you can. But I want to preach to you this morning. And, and um, amen. Hallelujah. I want to go down, read the, just a few verses in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 14. And uh, 
read a few verses here and then we'll use that for our launching place this morning and uh man praise the Lord. now man you've y'all been helping the singer this morning please help the preacher all right amen if somebody wants to run while the preacher's preaching it won't hurt my feelings all right and if somebody wants to shout while the while the preacher's preaching it won't hurt my feelings okay it won't amen uh, there may be parts of this you don't want to shout in now i understand that all right praise the lord but uh first samuel chapter 16 and verse 14 says but the spirit of the lord departed from saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servants said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out a man who is a cunning player on an harp. And it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants, and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse, and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid, and sent them by David his son unto Saul. And David came to Saul and stood before him. And he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he hath found favor in my sight. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. What this story is a, a story that uh, of a king that had so much potential, could have done so much for good for the kingdom. But we know the story how he rebelled against God. He was disobedient against God. And, and eventually one thing led to another till God rejected him from being the king. And uh, we read here that the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. The spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And the Bible says an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And uh, I want to just, I want to clarify something. I don't think that what it's saying here that God has evil spirits. No. No. All right. Hey Amen. I don't think that God had, there's nothing evil about God and, and in no way. But whenever, they will tell you what, whenever God departs and the spirit of God departs and God allows evil to come in and an evil spirit came in on Saul and, and troubled Saul. And it says in verse 15, an evil spirit from God troubled Saul. And he was troubled. Let me tell you that it changed Saul, when we when you think about this evil spirit, it changed the countenance of Saul. It changed his personality. It changed who he was, and and uh, he became uh, wicked, and he became violent, and he became full of hatred, and uh, he was. I mean, we you, and we'll look at some of this, but uh, he would he would begin to hate David whom he loved at one time, he came to hate him, to hate him so much that he attempted to kill him and to take his life and to, and to destroy David. And uh, so when you what we when we look at chapter 16 and 14, we, we get a picture of of the throne room of King Saul. We see this place that is a throne room. And and uh, there's a few characters that I want to look at in this in this message today. And obviously Saul in his throne room and how he became so deranged. He went he was mad. And when I say mad, it wasn't that he was throwing a temper tantrum. He was mad. He, he was irrational. He was, he, it, it, it was crazy. How, what word do you want to use? All right. He, he lost his mind. 
He, he was he was not in control of his senses. He was he was he had lost it. All right. That's that's the throne room that you find Saul sitting in. I kind of picture uh, a man that is troubled by an evil spirit in a darkened room with uh, disheveled in his appearance with him with uh, without taking care of himself and his own hygiene and a, and a man that is his clothing is rumpled and and uh, filthy and and all around is, is trash and debris and and I see this man that is deranged as he he has this wild look in his eyes and I because this is a man that is troubled by an evil spirit this is a man that is that has that is that this throne room and you know I don't know uh, when you get around a certain people and you get around certain people that are wicked and you get around uh, people that uh, uh, you feel like they have uh, that they're I don't know that you can just feel evil and wickedness around them can't you have you ever been around somebody that just turn it just you just felt something something a spirit or something oppressive about them and when you was in their presence it just it just turned you and you wanted you couldn't wait to get out of their presence amen but anyway, I kind of pictured that as the this room this darkened room with an evil man with a with the evil spirit and a, a man that has gone crazy and and lost his mind and in a darkened room and that that oppressed of spirit uh, just filling that room and then here comes this young man David a young man David fresh from the pasture fresh from caring for the sheep he's got a harp under one arm a songbook under another arm and he comes into this this darkened and evil uh, realm and this this area and this evilness all around him and he walks in fresh from the pasture and fresh from the sheep where he's been singing and, and writing psalms and and glorifying God and and praising God and worshiping God and, and loving God God with all of his heart and he walks into this evil throne room of this deranged king and he walks in there and the Bible says that David loved him hey amen there was something you know I don't think that what he saw is that he loved hey amen but I think there was something else that David loved hey amen it was the king of Israel the Bible says David loved him David walked into that and we find that that David began to play. He began to sing. He began to worship. Hallelujah. Man, the Bible says the Lord was with him. The Lord was with David. Hallelujah. And he played. And, and the Bible says that Saul's spirit was, Saul was refreshed as well. And an evil spirit departed from him. And there, there came a little bit of sanity in the room. And you could feel a breakthrough. And you could feel that oppressive spirit lift out of the room as David began to play. And as David began to worship. And, and as David began to sing. Hallelujah. But Saul was, had rejected God. When David would leave, and we, we can look at more verses here than we will, but that evil spirit come back. He would come back. That evil spirit began to work on Saul. You know, I believe, you know, we're living it today. When there is a, it seems like we're, we're in the evil hour. Yes, we are. I, I, ju I just feel right. such wickedness right. in our world. Amen. 
I feel like that we're, we're that I, have you felt a darkness and an oppressive spirit? Hey man, just come on. And I maybe maybe I'm a dark and gloomy person, but I'm not normally like that. All right, I'm normally cheery and happy. All right, but but I'm telling you what, I just feel, hey man, that we're living in a wicked hour, and I feel like that 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 uh, Satan is is working and Satan is is destroying lives, and and we we're living in a in a society, and we're living under a kingdom today, hey amen, that has rejected God. They don't want nothing to do with God. They would do. They want to push God out of all of the world, out of all the arena of conversation. They want to push. They don't want to talk about God. They don't want nothing to do with God. The only God they serve is the God of themselves. Yes, they've rejected God. They are disobedient to God. We are moving farther and farther away from the word of God. We, we continue to disobey and we, we can commit sin and wickedness and evil. And it seems like that we continue to invent new ways amen, to commit more greater evil than before. That is because we're living in a wicked world. And I tell you what, it seems like the world has become so crazy. Yeah. There are things I cannot explain to you. I cannot explain. All I can say is it's craziness. The world has lost its mind. The world has lost its mind. Just some examples, all right? Not when they say, well, we do not want to call, use gender specific specific pronouns for our children anymore. Raising our children in a non-gender environment. Can't say that he's a he or a she. It's whatever they, whatever they think they are. Now, folks, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, when I think, how can anybody... How can anybody believe that or think that? How can we think that? I mean, to me, that's crazy. That is, that is how you, to, to believe that. You have to be crazy in your thinking. I'm sorry. Man, that's, just, that's just one example. And you can see examples of that all around us in the world that we're living in. And I look at that and I say, Lord, is this the world that we are living in? And is this what we are walking into? I can look and I can tell you the future. I don't think that I don't think there's going to be anything that changes them. I believe that sin abounds and and that that uh, that sin is going to grow. I believe Satan has come down, knowing, Amen, that his time is short. Amen, and he is working and he is doing all he can to destroy. And a world that has rejected God is disobedient to God, rebels against God. I mean, they want nothing to do with God. And I tell you what, I believe you can feel the oppression that is in this world. But I want you to know, amen, I believe the church, amen, still has an effect even today in a dark, oppressive, sinful world. I believe, amen, that the church, amen, can still push back the forces of darkness in this day. Amen. I'm not here to tell you that the church is hopeless. No. No. Church has lost its power. No. That the church is ineffective. No. Hallelujah. Right. I don't believe that. No. Let me just say, you know what? Hey man, do you look in your families? Right. And you look at some of your family and you say, they're crazy. Right. I can't believe they were nuts. They went crazy. Well, look what they're look how they're going into sin. Look what they're pursuing in sin. Some of you are smiling when I talk about your family being crazy. Amen. But listen, amen. Some of them, some of you, be careful. Somebody's pointing at you. But anyway, amen. The, the, when we think, amen, they are so lost without God, so far away from the Lord. And yes, they are. But I want you to know, amen, that the Spirit of God still resides in you. Amen. And you may be the voice. Amen that pushes darkness out of their life. Amen. Hallelujah. David came with an anointing. David came anointed. 
David came with love and compassion. David came, and the Bible says in chapter 18 and verse 5, and over and over it says this phrase, that David behaved himself wisely. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. David was careful that he did what was right. David was careful about how he conducted himself. David was careful, amen, that he maintained his own self. Yes. Right. He was looking out, you know what, I got to be right. Yeah. And listen, church, when all the world is wrong, amen, you've still got to do right. Yeah. Amen, when you're mistreated and misjudged and when, you, when you're hated and when you're, when you're threatened and you feel like people are, are doing you an injustice, I want you to know you still have to do what's right. You still have to please God. You still have to behave yourself. Amen. It seems like we live in a world, amen, when we see the world going crazy, amen, that we feel like we've got a little bit of a license, amen, to go out and be crazy ourselves. Well, I want you to know, I don't believe that's the case. I believe as the children of God, amen, full of the Holy Ghost, amen, that we've still got to live by the word of God and conduct ourselves as Christians. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to agree on everything that's going on in the world, but I'm not going to charge the capital. Whoops. Amen. You know what? God's got a perfect plan. Peter, Peter didn't realize that in the Garden of Gethsemane. Peter took out a sword. Yeah! Thought he, I mean, he was going, he was ready to bring it on. Wah, wah, wah! Hey, man. Lord, whoa, 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 whoa! That's not how we're doing it. That's not my kingdom. That's not how my kingdom's going to come about. Hallelujah. That's not how, listen, that's not, I believe, amen, that David, amen, he didn't come in there throwing spears back at Saul. He didn't pull a spear out of the wall and say, what? You throw a spear at me? Why you? And throw it back. That's not how he conducted himself. David behaved himself wisely. David said, I won't touch the anointed of God. David was careful. He behaved himself wisely. Church, you guys are getting quiet on me here. Yeah, we're living in a wicked world, but I tell you, we still have to behave ourselves wisely. There's another character that's in the throne room that we see in the presence of Saul. His name is Jonathan. You notice that? Jonathan is living in this environment of evil. His dad is crazy. All right? Now, Jonathan, here you all go again. Praise the Lord. <laughs> His dad was crazy. He, he lived in this environment of wicked and evil. He knew what was going on. But there is something about, and I want you to look, if, you, if you've still got your Bible, you can look over to 1 Samuel chapter 18. Because it says there in verse 1, And it came to pass when he had made an end to speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 3, then Jonathan David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. You can go to chapter 19 in verse 2. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father, seeketh to kill thee. I know what, I know what the, what the realm, I know what this evil spirit that is ruling, amen, would like to do, would like to kill you. 
He said, but I pray thee, take heed to thyself into the morning and abide in a secret place and hide thyself. And you can read the story. Amen. And you can read down through there. Verse 9 talks about that evil spirit of the, from the Lord was upon Saul. And he took his javelin and tried to kill David. But when you begin to go through this, you find, amen, that Jonathan began to love David. He began to love David and his heart was so was knit to them. So much so that he began to push away from his father and go closer to David and to love David. Saul got angry and said in 20 and 30, then Saul's anger was kindled against Jonathan. And he said to him, thou son of the perverse, rebellious woman, do not I know that thou hast chosen the son of Jesse. That thou hast chosen the son of Jesse. Amen. I, I want you to know, amen, there came a time, amen, that Jonathan, because David behaved himself wisely. That Jonathan, it touched him. I can tell you this. There's still some Jonathans in this world that need to be saved. There are some Jonathans. And the Bible tells us, amen, that, that you know what? They have been blinded by the, by the God of this world. They've been blinded by the God of this world and their mind, they can't see and they don't understand and that because all they see is the king and all they see is all this. But let me tell you what, there'll come a day. David behaved himself wisely. David conducted himself right in the midst of a wicked generation and a wicked time. Amen. And guess what? Amen. He won Jonathan. Jonathan said, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be king. I'm going to serve you. Wow. I know, I know we feel like, and I'll be wrapping up here in just a moment, but I know we feel like that we're living in a day where everybody's so wicked and so evil. You can't win anybody to Christ. You can't win anybody to the Lord. That we're living in such a, a, a where evil is so dom the dominant force. And people are so deluded and so corrupted in their minds that we could never save them. But I still believe, amen, that guess what? Amen, that the Spirit of God and the anointing that is upon the church and the Holy Ghost that dwells within the church, amen, the Spirit of God that dwells in you, amen, that even in the midst of a wicked and perverse time, amen, if we can behave ourselves wisely and live a godly life and live holy and live pure and have true motives, Amen. I believe we could touch somebody's heart. Oh, yes. You know what I think? Amen. I think we need to realize that, man, I do think people start see, can start seeing, you know what? This is not right. This is crazy. When people see how you conduct yourself in a wicked world, I believe you can have an impact on them. Yeah. Amen. When they see the hatred yeah. that resides in our world and they see how you love, right. Amen. I know, I know we all want to pack up Moved our own island somewhere, right? Where we can create our own little world, move into our own little biosphere, you know, and live in there. And, and there we can have church and we can worship the way we want to worship and, and we can sing the songs we want to sing. And nobody, nobody telling us what to do. Nobody, nobody rebuking us and nobody punishing us and nobody, you know, no adverse. Wouldn't that, oh, oh praise God. Hey Amen. That's going to happen one day when we get to heaven, but not here. But that's what we're looking for. 
And that's why but I, I, I know we want to, we, we, we want to, but guess what? The church, you're still the salt of the earth. I need to say it again. You are still the salt of the earth. You are still the light to a dark world. You are that one thing that walks in, amen, to the de demented world that we live in. Amen, in its darkened state where evil oppression is all around us. And you are that force that walks in. And your worship and your praise and your conduct, amen, begins to push back, amen, that evil spirit, amen, to bring relief. Yes. And some of you, some of you, your, some of our family are lost and they're so, seems like they've gone crazy. Listen, behave yourself wisely. Amen, keep your anointing fresh. Have the favor of God upon you. Let the Lord be with you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, I believe, amen, that you can save your house. I believe we can save our family. I believe even in the dark hour, amen, we can pluck them as a brand from the burning. Amen, we can bring them out of the darkness of this day. Hallelujah. What you know, Saul's kingdom, he didn't even realize, but there was an expiration date set on Saul's kingdom. David was already anointed. The anointing was already there. Amen. But there was an expiration date on Saul's kingdom. Amen. And when God, when it came to the right time, amen, let me tell you, there were some dark days for David. In between that expiration date and him walking into the dark throne room of a demented king. Amen. From those times, let me tell you, David had a lot of, a lot of hardships. He went through a lot. Amen. He was, he was, he was threatened. He, his life was, was, take, was, was uh, threatened. He, they tried to take his life. He was pursued. He was chased. He was pushed into caves. He was pushed into the wilderness. Amen. He was pushed. But I'm going to tell you what. Amen. He still stayed true to God. And I think when you read through, you'll find he behaved himself wisely. Amen. And he was careful. Amen. To be, make sure that he was right with God. Amen. And you find out that when it came time, Amen. There was an expiration date on Saul's kingdom and it came to an end and David was elevated. Amen. To be the king over Israel. Well, I want you to know, church, there is an expiration date upon this world and the kingdom of Satan. Amen. It will be destroyed and one day Jesus will rise to the throne to be king of all the world. And set up a kingdom that will never pass away. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. That's why we sing, this world is not my home. That's why we talk about, amen, what's waiting for us over yonder. Amen, this is why we long for, like we say, seems and how I can almost see all the sainted dead rising to that jubilee that is just ahead. Amen, in a twinkling of an eye, change with them to be all the living saints to fly to that jubilee. I want you to know there's coming a day. Amen, there's an expiration date. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On this kingdom of this world hallelujah stand with me if you would oh lord help us oh lord help us today here's my altar call today some of you are dealing with people in your life right now that it seems like they went off the deep end. It seems like that they have, that Satan has just so taken them so far. And probably there's times you've said, I'd never dreamed they'd go so far. I never dreamed they'd go so far. Hallelujah.
I want to encourage you today, and I want you, my altar call is for you this morning, that you would walk into that throne room anointed. Hallelujah. Prayed up. Amen. Worshiping God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go in with your Bible in one hand and the songbook in another. Hallelujah. Go in there with love. Go in that throne room and reeling, realizing that, you know what? I love them. It's one thing I appreciate that when I read that about David, I think, my, what a, what a man he was, what a person he was, because he didn't go in there and see that and say, this should never be. I can't wait for this guy to get out of here. I really believe he loved Saul. He fought for Saul. The Bible says he became his armor bearer. But there came a time when it was, he was not tolerated anymore because of that evil spirit. But we got to love. Got to love. And then also, how we conduct ourselves, behave ourselves wisely. I believe that we can save the Jonathans out of the midst of a wicked world. We can save those Jonathans. Maybe you're thinking of them right now. Maybe you look at some people and you say, I, I, I would never believe that they would be at this state. I never believed they would be this far. I never believed that they would go so far from God. Baby, you look on and you, you say, man, they don't, they, they have gone so far from the Lord. Will they ever come back? Will they ever come back? I believe that we can, that the blinded eyes can be opened Hallelujah. And I believe that they can have a transformation in their life. That they can come to the Lord. Hallelujah. I wonder today, and I don't, I don't want us to bow our head just yet because I want us to, but I wonder today if you would raise your hand and say, Brother David, I have family that I'm praying for their salvation and it feels like they are so far from God. Just hold your hand up for a moment. So this seems like they're so far from God. Seems like they're just out of their mind. Amen. This altar calls for you today. Hey, Amen. Because I believe we can save even those that are have gone so far. Hey, Amen. There's a Jonathan that's waiting to be delivered. A Jonathan that's waiting to be saved. There's a Jonathan that's watching you. There's a Jonathan that's watching your life and watching how you behave yourself in this demented throne room. There's a Jonathan that's listening to your worship, watching your devotion to God in the midst of this demented throne room. There's a Jonathan that's watching you. Oh, God, help us to win, Jonathan. Hallelujah. Would you come to this altar with me today? Amen. Would you come today? Hallelujah. Is going to rise
to stand within the gap and make up the hedge of holiness and truth. Peace will cry for peace and there's no answer. They search for love in a world full of anger. The only peace they find is in the Word of God. And the only hope is found within the truth.